Hello everyone, Maddie from Hello Interloper here. Today I'm going to tell you guys about a game called Dawn of the Dragons. And uh, I've been playing it since summer. I'm absolutely addicted to it and I love it. So I thought I'd make a video about it and kind of teach you the basics by making a new account. Uh, I'm using Blue Stacks because I get this question a lot. How on earth are you recording your phone screen? I'm actually not. I'm playing through Blue Stacks, which is an Android emulator. Now, there really isn't any difference between the Android version and the iOS version. Both play in the same universe, per se. You can contact someone from iOS, play together, doesn't really matter. Uh, except that the Android version was released a little later, so unfortunately they did miss some exclusive stuff, which means, you know, nothing to you if you're going to start now since you missed all that stuff prior anyway. But you can really start at any time, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it is a Facebook game that was optimized for mobile play, although Facebook and mobile do actually play separately, because of course Facebook started way before uh, the mobile version. It was only released last year. But it is a ton of fun. I absolutely love this game. I'm learning more about it every day. And uh, I definitely don't know everything about the game, that's for sure. But I will share what I do know with you guys. Hopefully make a few more videos about it. And uh, get you guys off to a good start if you feel like playing it. So I'm starting a brand new account through Bluestacks. So I will go through the intro and teach you guys the basics of the game. So, long ago, spurred by dreams of mastery and delusions of divinity, dragons waged war on West Kruna. West Kruna being the world that this takes place in, or the country, whatever, you know what I mean. And great was the carnage that ensued, and as you can see, they're absolutely destroying this place, and, uh, yeah, doesn't look like it's gonna end very well. Next. But it was an age when man had heroes, demigods who whose might and courage would not buckle even before such terrible foes, the drakes were vanquished. Later on you learn that this guy is named Heracles, he's kind of like a demigod that doesn't exist anymore, but uh, he would just basically rip apart the dragons. Those who survived hid deep within the bowels of the world. There they slumbered, waiting for a time when the kingdom's denizens would prove easier prey. And that is where you come in. So, welcome to the Kingdom of West Kruna. Unfortunately, you've chosen an awkward time to visit as the land is currently under attack. Grab a weapon and join the fight. Glory awaits. Adventure awaits. To start off, you need to create what your hero looks like. Your hero is your avatar for the game. You'll need to choose the gender, your hairstyle, and how you want your hero to look. Now, the customization isn't really uh, that detailed, but honestly, it really does not matter at all because... Uh, You'll most likely have your face and everything all covered up anyway with a helm or something later on in the game. So uh, I'm actually going to make a female. My normal uh, character is a male, because usually on everything I make a male character just because they tend not to have the massive boobs. Like Not that I have anything wrong with massive boobs, but you know I don't exactly always want my character to be a ditzy sex symbol. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be bald woman now. Uh, what does a faux hawk look like? Okay, that's a little too crazy for me. Eh, let's see. What does maiden look like? And these aren't really that appealing. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna tie back my hair with a bunch of string or whatever. So then you can choose your face, uh, Ooh, evil. What does evil look like? <laughs> I look absolutely furious. What's stern? Let's see what this looks like here. Eh, okay, she's gonna be stern. She's gonna be a warrior woman. So anyway, I'm gonna save my character. Oh, I forgot to enter a name. Let's go really obvi uh, obvious here. Oh, wait, I have to hold shift. I forgot. I'm gonna be... <laughs> Hello! Interloper. Okay. So, oh, I can't fit it. Okay, how about this? This is going to be good enough. Hello, YouTube. Hello, world. Okay, so there's my character. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Name can't contain hell. Okay, I'm going to be high YouTube then. Hi, guys. All right. So getting started, this is your homepage. Most of your adventures will start from here. We'll give you a few tips to get you started, but then we must send you off to help in the battle. This top bar contains your hero's important stats. This is the info you'll need through most of your adventures. Next. 
reduces your health bar. Your enemies will try to defeat you by reducing it to zero in battle. Your health will recharge. Blah, 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 blah. This is your energy, which is used for quests, fighting certain monsters. Blah, 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 blah. Stamina is for raids. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to skip through most of this because I'm going to actually show you guys how to use this stuff. This is your honor. Blah. 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 And more blah. Okay, so I'm going to go through like the basics here. But basically, start out questing. Questing is going to be half of the whole game, per se. Not exactly half the whole game, let's say. But it's a very important part. And so is raiding. Don't worry, it's not all clicking like a uh, Mafia Wars or anything. So if that's what you're expecting. It's not your average Facebook game. So anyway, this is the quest play page where you'll play through the game storyline. And this is a little bit like, you know, your standard Mafia Wars uh, sort of game on Facebook. You know, you have energy, you get to use it. But um, for now, I will show you guys that there is a little more to this game. There is, and I must say, amazing lore. Uh, the story actually starts out, you know, you, you could tell whoever wrote the lore started out really slow, you know, kind of few paragraphs, few sentences, and then they really get into it. Some of them, you'll go for one quest area and there's pages to read. This person decided, okay, let's start it off slow, and then they turn it into a novel. And it's actually a really, really well-written lore. So, you know, just this is just me dorking out here. But basically, you're working in the fields when they came, just a common farmhand earning a living through the strength of your back and the sweat of your brow. Such things as worms, which you should know if you're a gamer, usually means dragons, and ogres were the stuff of children's stories and nothing more. Then the dragon's forces arrived, a dark army charging towards Burden's Rest, packs vicious kobolds, or cobbles, depends on how you say it, but I've heard it both ways. Sweeping into the fields to slaughter those caught outside the town. Your old life is over. Because you were previously a farmer. And, uh, yep. Things will never be the same for you. So before I attack, I'm gonna go show you guys my character. My little noob. So it's gonna talk about my inventory. We don't really need to know about this right now. Enough of that. Okay, so this is me. You have started out like this. So, um, right now, you don't really need to know about all these different things, but, uh, we don't have a helmet, we don't have anything, we just have farmhand clothes. So, uh, throughout the game you're going to be able to put a lot of different clothes here and optimize, uh, better clothing for yourself to do more raid damage, do more quest damage, and all this kind of cool stuff. So, uh, let's just get on with it. But that's basically how you check your character. And we will be equipping a few things uh, within the next few minutes. So, first part. For life and limb. Around you, the other farmhands scream in fear, unable to understand what's happening. Then they scream in pain as the grotesque creatures begin their slaughter. The murderous eyes of the cobbled meet your own, and his blade flashes at your neck. Dramatic. But uh, right now, you got your mount and your weapon, so might as well go equip that. So this is kind of the true introduction to what you're doing here. You have a mount, the plow horse. Definitely equip that because it will increase your attack by 8 and your defense by 8. And right now, if you look over here, you can see your attack and your defense. Now, this number is your total number. And in the parentheses, it's what you have added. As in your base stats. Everything uh, here is what you have originally and then added with... Uh, your equipment. So somewhere in this equipment I got uh, added two attack and three defense. Perception you don't really have to worry about right now. I'll tell you about it in a later video possibly, but basically you don't have to worry about it at the moment. So let's equip that plow horse and uh, nothing actually changes per se, but uh, as you can see nice. Got 11 and 14 now. And then we did get a weapon which actually is an offhand weapon. It's a small dagger. Slight increase to attack. So now we're looking a little bit better. We got uh, a weapon in each hand. And now we will have a little bit more success with our attack. So I'm going to do this again. And um, we didn't actually lose any health. This is your health. And you can actually upgrade it throughout the game. And you really can choose all these different things to upgrade. But right now we have two EXP to level. So we're going to do this two more times. You're now level two. You gained five stat points. Now this is 
your first stat point distribution. You've got a little green bubble thing here, and that means that you can add stat points. So let's add it. You have five unused points, and first of all, you might be tempted to increase your attack or your defense or your health or any of that stuff, but this is something you have to pay attention to. Now, over here, you have your LSI and BSI, which they actually don't really explain this to you, and unfortunately, I really messed up my character in the beginning because of this. I didn't have a proper start because I had no idea what that was or what it meant. What they actually mean is your leveling index and your battle index. And I don't really know what the S stands for. It doesn't really matter. But either way, uh, your LSI is calculated by how much energy and stamina you have. Now, the way to get EXP is through using your energy and your stamina. Energy you use on quests, stamina you use on raids. Honor is an extra part, but you can't increase it. It is actually your level, and it only applies to guild raids. Then there's things called world raids. You don't really have to worry about that at all right now. So uh, world raids, most of the time, you can use any of the three, or there might be one where you can only use energy, even though it's a raid. It's kind of complicated. But don't worry, I'm going to be making more videos in the future. You'll get all that down as it comes along. But... Basically, your LSI is the most important thing when you start the game, because you want to level as much as possible. You want to get to as high a level as possible, so then you can really start getting as many stat points as you can, and then you can work on your BSI. Now, there are some people who want to play only the PvP aspect of the game. In that case, LSI is not important at all. You want to level as little as possible. You actually want your BSI to be higher. But... For the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to be making a PvP character just because it's extremely tedious and somewhat boring because your PvP hits, you only have a specific amount that you can use each day and it regens every 24 hours, which means that if you make a PvP character, you're possibly playing less than usual. Kind of check in every once in a while, which isn't as fun. You want to be able to play it as often as possible. So I'm going to use these stats not on attack, defense, or health, but on my stamina. Now two stat points equals one stamina. So I'm going to increase this by two, and I'm going to throw some to energy because I want to do some questing. So now that that's out of the way, you can see my LSI went up. Now later as you level up, right now we're in the newbie levels, as your level goes up, your LSI will go down, and eventually the highest LSI you can get is 7. You want to keep it at 7 at all times if you want to level as much as possible, and therefore get more stat points and get to a higher pace later. Well, sooner. <laughs> Not later. But you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, I used my stat points. Now let's kind of go back to questing. Hopefully we'll find some new things. But uh, just quick pointer. That's the amount of EXP you'll get, that's the cost of energy, and that's the amount of gold you'll get. Gold is mainly used to buy items from the bazaar, although you can use the premium coins, which is uh, planet coins. Don't have to worry about that at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's pretty important for now to get some, because if you lose uh, a lot of health, you need gold to regenerate your health. So, uh, yeah, let's finish this up. Just gonna attack some more. Complete. Okay, so I don't have to do that anymore. Get to move on to the next one. Now, just saying, you can skip ahead, but you can't attack the boss just yet. But, uh, I like to keep it in chronological order to be able to read the lore, because I'm a bit of a dork. But anyway, the cobbled falls to the ground and sputters out of his last breath. Uh, out his last breath. Blech. For the moment you're safe, and part of you yearns to run and leave the Mattis far behind. Then you hear one of the other farmhands crying out for help, and you rush to his aid. You are a hero already. So anyway, I got to level 3. You can see how fast this is. So, uh... Oh, come on. I'm pressing okay, right? Now they're talking about stat points. I've already explained that to you, so enough of that. So I'm going to just finish this up. I'm just going to start accruing tons of stat points here. Let's just finish this, and uh, I'm going to go put some more. Now, usually what I like to do uh, is to have an equal amount of stamina and energy. At least up until the point I'm at, I like evening it out. Uh, usually what a lot of people do is they choose at some point to go either tons of energy or tons of stamina, and they usually stop one of them at 2,000. I know that seems a really long way off, uh, but... 
For now, I like keeping them even. It kind of gives a taste of both sides of the game. So as you can see, my BSI is getting lower because I haven't added anything to attack and defense, but that really doesn't matter right now because I'll be getting a ton of equipment to put that up. So anyway, questing, questing, questing. Just going to be doing this a little while longer, and then uh, I'm going to show you guys raiding. If you are kind of getting the gist of it and don't want to see any more uh, questing, you can skip ahead in this video. But I'm going to continue and show you guys what a boss battle is like. The kobolds are weak and cowardly. They sought to murder defenseless people, not battle with armed men and women. Now as you rally the other farmhands to fight back, they falter. A roar of primal fury tears from their mouth as you charge. So, I got a planet coin. And if I remember correctly, it's every five levels that you get a planet coin. I don't know if it gets... Uh, to be every two levels or something when you get to a higher level. I'm not exactly sure. But whatever you do, save your planet coins. Do not spend them. And I say this because it's so tempting to buy a potion to be able to restore your energy, your stamina. But you will need them later on. Just save them. Trust me on it. Okay, so I'm going to press OK. I'm going to attack. And I got another uh, thing there. And there we go. I am level 6 now. And I can choose now an optimization. Um, if I like being a battler, battling uh, raids more, I could lower the weight for uh, regeneration, or I could lower the regeneration for my energy. For this, I'm going to choose the adventurer, just because, uh, honestly, I'd rather have these regenerate a lot faster. And plus, I'm not going to have a specialization yet. Uh, when you do get to a higher level, you can then actually choose, and one of them will be better than uh, choosing this. But for now, this is what we want to do. Okay, so just going to continue along my way. whoop de doo And unlock the boss battle, Chief ha Horgrak. Yes. Uh, so, you can see that usually a boss battle gives you more EXP than your average quest, which is great, because... Uh, it's always good to have a little EXP boost. So I'm going to attack, and this is where health really comes into play. Now, one thing to note is, uh, for now, you really haven't been using your attack and defense in your quest. You've just been using your energy. Now, this is when your health, your attack, your defense all come into play. And so, I will click attack and show you what it's like. So... I slammed him for 17 damage, but I took 13 health damage. So, at the moment, I'm at 87, I'm at 83. Right now, I can kill this guy easily. So, I have nothing really to worry about. Now, if you try to continue along with the quest and you don't get any better weapons or armor, you might find it difficult to actually beat a boss. So, uh, that's where all that comes into play. You want to increase uh, your loot, your gear your weapons, you know, that kind of stuff, or your health, which thankfully you can add 10 per stat point instead of just 1 per stat point or 2 stat points for 1 stamina, so it's easy to increase your health. Not much to worry about. But I'm going to finish him off, and when I do kill him, I will get a pretty nice reward. So I'm going to finish this dude off. Goodbye, Chieftain Horagrek. So, the Cobble Chieftain... Uh, can't speak today, bellows in defiance, but blood and strength flow together from his wounds. The blade drops from his hand, and his eyes widen as if in disbelief. He grunts something in his unintelligible language. Perhaps a word of congratulations to a superior warrior, perhaps a bitter curse. But then he falls toppling over like a felled oak tree. The other cobbles are in flight when he hits the ground, before he hits the ground. Ugh. They don't get far. You hear the clattering of hooves, the rattling of arms and armor, sounds which went unheeded during your battle with the chieftain. Now you see a group of horsemen, the town's guards, back from patrol as they ride down the surviving cobbles, dispatching them with thrusts of their lances and swings of their gleaming swords. The guard captain wheels his horse around and faces you. The town! They're in town! You gaze towards Burden's Rest in the distance and see the dark mass flowing among the shining white buildings. The battle isn't over yet. The others look to you for guidance, even the guard captain. His men have trained to fight packs of bandits, not wage war. For better or worse, your slaying of the kobold, cobbled chieftain, <laughs> switching pronunciations here, has placed you in charge. You call for the farmhands to grab what weapons they can from the dead, then you march to Burns Rest to rescue it from its enemies, or else die alongside your fellow townspeople. So, you can see that uh, you got some items 
I can click them to show you. I got Sheepton Horror Graphic Essence, which means I'll be able to summon this boss again in a raid. I get the Weaponsmith book, which allows me to construct a weapon in my citadel. I get a new piece of armor, which adds 5 to attack and 5 to defense. And I get a brown cobble belt, which I can eventually get a whole collection of six different colors and exchange it for two stat points. So, that's kind of your first little quest area. Now let's show you what to do with all of these. Now this is going to be talking about navigating before between areas, which you don't really have to worry about right now, but the Citadel is definitely a very important part of the game, and I'll show you why. So this is just blabbing for now, and uh... Yeah, it's telling me to finish it with a coin, which I'm not going to do. But as you can see, the weaponsmith is locked, alchemist, all the stuff is locked at the moment because we haven't gone so far in the uh, quest to unlock it. But I'm going to go to weaponsmith. And with this, I can build the weaponsmith book number one. And uh, I will click that. And build and it takes five minutes, which really isn't that long. So do not use the planet coin on it. Um, so I'll show you that uh, later when that's finished. So now let's just use these points quickly. I'm going to add more to stamina. So now we're almost even, but uh, you can see my LSI is still going down, my BSI is still going down. Don't have to worry about that at the moment. Now let's equip that brand new chest piece. And you'll be finding a lot of new uh, things along your journey, so make sure you always equip them. And yes, you can kind of go naked. And we can't wear a bra! <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's put that back on, because uh, in this game, being flimsy does not pay. Now, I could continue along the quest, but I want to show you guys raiding. Now, we did get our first essence, which was the Chieftain Horograk uh, essence. Now I'm gonna skip all this stuff because reading this takes too long. I can explain it a lot better than I can read all that crap at once. So um, current are the raids that you have participated in. Active is the ones that are currently running. Completed are the ones that failed. There are timers on these or have been dispatched. Uh, search is for searching if somebody says, "Hey, do you wanna only fight?" So and so, when I fight a lot, is Belarius, but we're not going to do that now. Instead, we're going to find. So, uh, find, summon, or I can search for publics. Now, these are all way too hard for us right now, so uh, let's just forget about that. But, oh, that's one of my guildies. So, anyway, summon. Let's summon ourselves something. Now, we can summon it on normal, hard, legendary, or nightmare. Let's just say that nightmare is way too tough for us at the moment. So I will put it on normal. So now runes are really cheap. You can buy some ahead of time because you'll be summoning a few. Not at the moment. We'll summon one, but there is a cooldown. But might as well have some just so that way you don't have to buy it again and it's annoying. So anyway. I'm going to summon this. So I press summon, and we will then have it in our current list. And okay, I really don't care. I'm going to explain it just fine. So uh, it says successfully summon a raid. Would you like to go to active raids? Okay, let's do that. So that's once again uh, under the current active. So I'm going to engage this. And as you can see, he's got a lot of health. Uh, we were only able to make small attacks earlier. This guy is a lot tougher, and raids tend to be. And we've got a lot of time. That's actually hours, minutes, seconds, so uh, don't really have to worry about it. Now before I hit him, I am going to refill my health. So I can show you what it's like. So uh, that's kind of expensive, but we will get money when we hit him. So I have 15 stamina at the moment. I'm going to hit him. I can hit him with 1 stamina, 5 stamina, 20 stamina. Obviously I can't do a 20 stamina hit because I don't have it. I'm going to do 5s. So, 
Oh, well, look at that. I leveled. So, I did 377 damage. Now, I know that seems a lot more than what you did in the quest. That's because it works a lot differently. Uh, quest bosses and raids are two completely different monsters. So, uh, don't be surprised. But look how much gold I got. It's beautiful and EXP. So, I'm just going to hit it a few more times. Yay! You can see the leveling is crazy. And that is because I have added a lot of stamina. And my LSI is at an optimal amount. So I'm just going to add more stamina because I want to even that out. Now, the thing that's different about raids is that you do not get on-hit rewards or, you know, uh, when I was doing quests I would get rewards as I progress through the quest. You don't get that kind of stuff. Uh, there is a loot table. So if I press this little cogs thing here, I can cast magic, see rankings, see who hit the most. Right now it's only me. This is a private raid. Uh, I don't have any magic, so that's not of any concern. But what I do want to see is the loot table. So I'm looking here. Now, every tier here depends on how much damage you do. And the amount of uh, damage you have to do to a raid really depends on its maximum health and a few other things. But as you can see, if I do defeat this, I have a chance of getting some nice armor. You can click on any one of these things and see what it does. You see these are much better than the things I have. Or I can get an offhand dagger. Oh, that's a main hand dagger. Or I can get a helmet. I can get all this cool stuff. And I can also get a farm hand and a town guard. And you may be wondering, okay, what on earth is that? What are troops? Oh my goodness, my mind is about to explode. Don't worry, I'll explain that all when t the time comes. But for now, your weaponsmith is ready to start making weapons. Now you can see the beauty of the citadel. I'm going to go to the weaponsmith and I can craft something for myself. Now, you can see uh, that is amazing. A hundred, a hundred. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. 130 with 70 defense. It really depends on what you want to uh, specialize in. Personally, I like attack because I love to raid. So I'm going to be making this. It's a 24 hour wait, which I know seems like a very long time, but if you really are going to commit to this game, it does not really matter. Do not finish it with planet coins. Whatever you do, no. Do not use those planet coins. I know you might be very tempted. Just wait it out and you will get that weapon free of charge. All you have to do is wait. And you get more of these books and are able to unlock more parts of the Citadel just by progressing through the quest. So, progress through the quest is a good thing to do. So let's go back to this guy. Uh, I'm going to see if I could kill him. I did more damage there, but I am out of uh, stamina now. So that's when I switch to questing. So I'm just going to kind of continue along here, power level. Uh, if you do start the game, you can, of course, uh, read the story. But for now, I'm just going to zoom through this. But uh, yeah, it does not stay this easy for very long. It's actually a highly challenging game, which will require you to kill the same raid bosses again and again, and uh, do the quests again and again, and really just a lot of crazy stuff. But for now, I will work towards killing this guy. Oh, we got another planet coin. So that's always good. And just keep killing. And you can see I get more gold, so uh, also because I equipped that new stuff, now I barely lose any health when I attack him. It's wonderful. And uh, just gonna speed along here. Speed, speed, speed. And, uh, yeah. As I get more things, I'm going to equip them. Since this is rather boring and I'm just going to be clicking, I will end this video right now and continue teaching you about the next step, what to do with loot, and hitting other people's raids in the next video. So, look forward to it. See you guys soon.